Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the concept of extracting canonical forms from truth table. Suppose we have a truth table given with a number of inputs and the output and from that truth table itself, we have to determine the Boolean expression of the output in SOP and POS form. So we'll discuss that. So let us take a truth table. Uh, we are considering two variables for simplicity and to keep it short, okay, the two variables, the two input variable and the output f. input combination 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and the output is 0 1 1 1 okay so this is the truth table available to us now from this truth table we have to determine the boolean expressions of the output in SOP and POS form. Okay, so here we have to apply all that we have studied in the SOP and POS basic concepts. Okay, so the first important thing to remember whenever dealing with SOP and POS is that the SOP expression is applicable at those input combinations where the output is logic 1 and POS is applicable at those points where the output is logic 0. So from this we can see here for these input combinations, these three input combinations 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 the output is logic 1. So it means that these three input combinations are applicable for SOP and only at this input combination A0, B0, the output is logic 0. So at this point POS is applicable. Okay, this is the first. The second important point associated which is important is that in SOP sum of products or sum of min terms each complemented variable it represents logic 0 and each uncomplemented variable it represents logic 1 whereas in POS it is the opposite each complemented variable it represents logic 1 and each uncomplemented variable it represents logic 0. So this is another thing that we should remember. So let us first deal with the SOP and then we'll get to the POS. Okay, so you can see at 0, 1, at 1, 0, and at 1 1 the output is logic 1 so it means this is 1 decimal here it is 2 the equivalent decimal form and here it is 3 the equivalent decimal form so at these values SOP is applicable so we can write this as f sop is sum of min terms m1 plus m2 plus m3 okay which is summation of min terms 1 2 3 okay or we can express it as this 0 1 means a bar b a is 0 b is 1 
1 0 for min term 2 it means 1 0 a is 1 b is 0 a b bar and m 3 means 1 1 a is 1 b is 1 which is a b here we have applied this rule in SOP complemented variables are represented by 0 uncomplemented variables are represented by 1 ok. So, this is the min term expression or the SOP expression of the output ok m 1 0 1 a bar b m 2 1 0 a b bar m 3 1 1 a b. Now, let us represent the given expression in POS form. So, we have to do the same in POS form. POS is ap applicable at those input combinations where the output is 0. So, here only one input combination is applicable that is A is 0, B is 0, both are 0. Now, another basic rule is that in POS, complemented variables are represented by 1, uncomplemented variables are represented by 0. So, the POS expression is simple only one input combination which is capital M 0, A is 0, B is 0. So, it is simply A plus B because in POS uncomplemented variables are represented by 0. So, this 0 0 a is 0 b is 0 it can be represented by this. So, it is a plus b. So, this is the POS expression. Okay.